This video will show you how to add vectors graphically in one dimension. So first of all, we'll start with some simple addition, three centimeters right plus four centimeters right. So we're going to grab our ruler here, position it on our page. Uh, you'll be doing this on, with pen and paper and a regular ruler and using, and then you'll scan the assignment in and uh, submit it on the Moodle page. But we're gonna, I'm going to show you on here, we're going to go and draw a nice straight line three centimeters long. There we go. And then we're going to add four centimeters. So we start at the end of the first line and we add another four centimeters. And I guess if I were to do this properly, what I should do is take my ruler and move it. Got my pencil again, and I'm going to draw again four centimeters long to the right, of course. And when I'm finished that, I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to go from the starting point of the first vector to the ending point of the second vector and I see that it's seven centimeters and of course to the right so my graphical answer then I get to the end my answer is seven centimeters right all right so that's a pretty simple one for you um, now it gets a little bit more difficult when uh, we're working in larger units like kilometers uh, and numbers that are larger than what we have in our ruler. Um, for instance, 16 kilometers plus 22 kilometers. I'm going to need to create a scale. Um, so in order to do that, what I would do is over on the side, I'm going to write down um, what my scale is. So first, I've got to figure out what scale would work here. Um, well, one kilometer equals one centimeter isn't going to work because I can't make a 16 or a 22 kilometer or 20, 16 or 22 centimeter item here. So I'm going to have to scale that down a little bit. Let's go with um, one centimeter on the ruler is equal to 10 kilometers. That should work. So we go here and we just write. One centimeter equals 10 kilometers. And we should probably write scale. And this should be a colon, I guess, if we were to do this properly. Okay, so scale, one centimeter to 10 kilometers. All right, so using that scale then pull our ruler up here and we need to make 16 kilometers well 16 kilometers to scale is going to be 1.6 centimeters so very carefully draw my straight line 1.6 centimeters long slightly long there there we go 1.6 centimeters long 22 kilometers using our scale would be 2.2 centimeters so I moved my ruler over to the end grab my line my pen again and I draw a nice straight line 2.2 centimeters looks about right um, and then I remeasure now one thing I forgot that I should also be doing is I should be putting a um, a direction thing on here to show that um, to the right is west that kind of breaks convention I probably should have done that the other way but that's right. What, so all you got to do then is actually just do it with a pen. 
here as you go draw a little line here like that and you go oops east and west so that people know that to the right is west um, of course this breaks normal convention so I probably should have drawn my arrows pointing this direction but that's okay it will still it's still valid um, so when I measure this now using my ruler I see that it is uh, 3.8 centimeters. So that's 3.8 centimeters. That translates to 38 kilometers. So I, my answer is 38 kilometers in the that direction, which you know, over here is west. That is my answer. All right, so now we're going to look at adding uh, of opposite directions. So this is in centimeters. Numbers look like they'll work with my ruler, so I don't need to do a scale. Um, but I do need to make my directional thing here. And this time, I maybe will follow convention here. I can get a straight line that is decently straight. There we go. And I'm going to call this west. I'm going to call this sorry my pen is reacting not real well to this. There we go, east. Okay, so I would grab my ruler, pull it up again, and this time I need to flip my ruler over. So it faces the other direction. And I need to draw my line four centimeters in the west direction. It's a little bit long. If you're doing this on pen and paper, you're or with pencil and paper, you're just going to have to be very careful not to get them longer. I have the luxury of being able to grab that and make it shorter. You'd have to use an eraser to fix it up. You want to be as exact as you can. Okay, now I'm going to add three centimeters in the east direction. So I start where I left off, and I go in the east direction. I should be doing this with my ruler flipped around again one two three centimeters in the east direction and then I grab my ruler and I measure from the beginning to the end. So from the beginning of the first one to the end of the second one. 
and I get one centimeter and it is in the west direction. So then my answer, of course, would be one centimeter 